Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know, it started neat and then it got messy. And what we're gonna do today is to declutter my <laughs> sunscreen collection. This is a lot, of course. I do have a few that I've kept in my bathroom. There's one in my bathroom, Hawaii Tropical, one downstairs, also Hawaiian Tropical. One in the shared bathroom is the banana boat ones. So everything else are here and we're gonna go through them, hopefully declutter half of the finger crossed. The first the pile here are the ones I'm definitely going to get rid of for different reasons such as the Suzuki one is working alright but it's already expired so I'm just going to get rid of this one and also I've got three by Lee Tens, what is it called, Zinc Stick they have different colours and they're literally just like colour crayons you're applying your skin I don't know why, I'm just not quite sure and they're expired so I never get a chance to test it out for you guys but I will know these are going to be fail for me. Also the natural ink stick one, these two are not working super good and they're also close to expire so they're all going. Um, similarly are the Cancer Console and the Moogle ones, both of these are very similar crazy cast on my skin and so thick that I don't think I can apply on my body so there we're going one of my okay product but expired is this M cool one this one expires by the end of this year but I've got so many other ones that I need to do to use so I'm just gonna get rid of this as well and also a two tinted version one is the coast tinted version this one I reviewed way back when I first started the channel such a strong dark color that I just don't found it's good on my skin to use it by itself and it's very shiny as well so it takes a little bit of work when I use this to apply my foundation afterwards so I thought it's time to say goodbye and also the only one and only I really dislike product from Kessler Console is the face day wear moisturizer matte in their tinted version this is a terrible like product from the line everything else from the line so far so good but this is the worst the tint is ridiculously crazy on the skin so i'm get rid of this one so that's all the ones i'm gonna get rid of now we're moving into the piles where i don't think they worked perfectly for me or what i enjoy but i'm gonna give them one last chance to try for my body and just to see how i feel before i decide to get rid of them or not First is this QVIQ sunscreen. This one works terrible on my face, but I want to try my body and I haven't get the chance to do it. So I'll see how it goes on the body. If it still doesn't work, then it's good to go. Similarly, the SunSense one is terrible on my face, but it might be just all right on my body. The Walnut one is a little bit too oily on my face. So I want to see maybe I can use it on my body to really nourish my skin and also with the little innocence. These are very similar. So for baby sunscreens, I guess I just not well fit in the category. Like I'm not a baby baby anymore. So I'll try to use this on my body more because I don't really super enjoy it on my face. I've got other ones that I do really, really enjoy since I've got so many sunscreens. Um, Ichi Baby Co is a good one. So I don't know why this is here. The Banana Bright Simple Protect, this one's got a tint and somehow I just remember this might be a bit peeling around my face but I cannot remember since it's been so long so I want to try it again and see how I feel and then decide what I'm going to do about it. The last from this category is the Ethical Zinc one. I actually checked my review the other day and I found I was really enjoying this one but when I swatched it for you I realized this is a quite thick formula so I don't know if it's because over time the formula get more thickened or I was having a really like needing that thickness because it was winter time and I'm not so oily combinated skin so I might want to try this on my face as well as on my body because I do like all the claims over here and then to see where this one goes and then I have a product that I'm not going to keep it with me, but I want to give it to my mom. This is the Laura Posay sunscreen. I just don't find it's my favorite. It's a okay product, but my mom really enjoyed this. So I can give this to her. She can have a good use out of it. Now this pile here are something that are about to expire in the year of 2022. So I either use them as much as I can because I really love them, or I just use them as much as I can because they're expensive. The one I really love is this Reef one. So I want to get the heck out of this one. 
I want to use and apply my body and my face and really really drop this one so yeah but I'm super happy actually this is in this pile so I can get my hands on it because otherwise I'll be testing sunscreen non-stop um, similarly I do really enjoy the banana boat simple protect non tinted version so this can be a very trouble friendly when I put it around my vanity when I do my makeup so I love this and a little two travel size, one from Keratin, one from Neutrogena. This is gonna use that in no time. I'm actually gonna take this with me for the upcoming travel that we've got with my family. So that's in January. So this can be put in my purse for reapply. And also something I wanna bring me for the travel is this um, Cancer Console Ultra Cooling Sunscreen. This one's really cooling on the body, but quite stinging around my face. So during the summertime when we're going out, it's gonna be super good. So I'm gonna take this one for the travel and then get rid of it by the end of the travel. The rest over here are something I'll try to use as much as I can, especially with this Aspect CC Cream. This is quite expensive, but it's just not working the best. Also with this Avin uh, Uni unifying care. I'm not actually quite sure if this is a proper sunscreen. If I can find that out, it can help me make up my mind so much easier. But I'm keeping it for now to use it as much as I can before it can expire. The Invisible Zinc SPF 30. I actually quite enjoy this one, especially this is in the shade Light. This is my shade compared to the medium shade, which I've also got. But yeah, I'll just I would actually really prefer using this if I didn't have the other two I just mentioned because the tint on this it can just give me a ready to go outside look. I've got this Cancer Console. This is also their face they wear moisturizer matte, but this is their waterproof formula. It's nowhere near their pink packaging. So I guess I, I can actually pass this one to mom as well because I'm sure she need more than one bottle of sunscreen for the year of 2022. I might do that so she can use the whole bottle because I know it's a good product but just not as good as the pink one. And the last but not least is the Cancer Console Sensitive Sunscreen. This is a mixed mineral and chemical sunscreen. I kind of enjoy this one as well. I just didn't even know this is also expiring in the year of 2022. So yeah, there's already a pile of sunscreens waiting for me to finish use before the gun expire. So these are the ones that I'm wanting to finish up or try my best. So there are still also in my collection. And then the last one on the list are this big pile here are the ones that I'm keeping. So like this Dermavine one, definitely keeping. Um, Hamilton one, definitely keeping. World Wars Clear Zinc, definitely a keep. Um, New Day Skin, definitely keep. Oh, oh my gosh, should I have saved more? If I can only have one sunscreen, this will be my. Um, also, their Zinc one is also really good, definitely keep. The Mineral Invisible Zinc Mineral Shield sunscreen, um, this is in a shade medium, so I'm actually not quite sure how long I'm keeping it, but for this year, for the coming year, I think I'll keep it and maybe get rid of it by the end of next year. The Cancer Console Kids and Zinc, this is not the best, but I feel like I can get some use out of it, so so far keeping it. The little travel sizes from Ultra Bella, they're very travel friendly, also with this one, and this little Cancer Console Moisturizing one, and one of my favorite in the travel size. I definitely keep all these, and they always go with me when I go for travel. I mean, not so often these days, because I haven't had much of travel Oh, I haven't had any business trips in two years, but I used to, so they can always have their own spots placed in my collection. The last two, this one I found is really good, and I heard people saying it's not. So I think I'm not in a rush of testing out again, but I will. And also with this Lara Pose, this is something I can see potentially giving to my mom as well, but I'll wait until she finished the other two, and I'll pass this one to her. Among all the 64 sunscreens that I've got in my collection, I'm definitely gonna only keeping the 17s in front of me, which is the last part I showed you. And the rest, I'll give you update by the time I upload this, if I get a chance to try out, what do I think about it? Otherwise, you'll definitely see a final update in the month of January, once I finish my travel, when I got back. Um, so I hope, really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a like. Uh, by the time you're seeing this, it should be at the very last week of December. So I hope everyone had a really, really good holiday and upcoming New Year. Happy New Year. Happy 2022. I cannot believe I'm saying this now. Um, if you enjoy some sunscreen like dedicating review videos, I'll leave all the ones that I upload in the month of December playlist up in the cards, but also down below. And also my 
2021-2020 Sunstorm reviewed all the playlists down below so you can check it out if you're interested. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a like and consider subscribe down below. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!